Hello everyone, I'm Emily um, and this is my very first video on my new YouTube channel. Um, so my plan is to tell you about myself, um, my goals, and then kind of launch into what I've been doing so you all can follow along with me. Um, I am a mom of two little girls. I have a 10 month old and I have a, well, a two year old, but she'll be three soon. Um, so for whatever that's worth. And um, my husband and I have a cat. I live in Maryland. Um, so I'm in growing season 7B. And I have always been more of a vegetable farmer. And I have always had huge goals of having my own acreage and my own farm with lots of fruits and vegetables and orchards and animals. And um, unfortunately we, with the housing market the way it is, just haven't been able to move to that huge property that I've been dreaming of, um, which has led me to fall in love. You know, I've always loved gardening, um, but it's led me to fall in love with the space that I have now and um, kind of optimizing what I can do with that space in um, what I'm hoping will be a successful flower farm. So um, I kind of just want to take you along with me on that journey. I only have about 10,000 square foot yard. Um, I have two raised beds that I have been using for vegetables in the last few years. They are 10 by four foot each, so about 40 square feet in each one. And then um, I have different areas around my lawn that I plan to use as well. So I think next week um, I will take a video of my garden beds for you and take a video of the yard that I have so you can see what I'm starting from. And I really just wanna bring you along with me week to week um, my plan is kind of to bring you with me as I learn. I, I am coming into flower farming not knowing anything. So I am going to tell you what resources I've used, what I'm trying, what, and you are going to see in real time what is and is not working for me. Um, and hopefully it will help you. And if you're more experienced than me, maybe you have some tips, so please comment um, and let me know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I would love to have a successful cut flower business. Um, what does success mean? <laughs> I would love for it to be profitable. I would love for it to bring joy to other people. Um, and I'll talk more about what that means to me personally um, within the mission of everything. And, and in a perfect world, I would love for it to help me pay off some of my student loans. So I didn't tell you all this. I am a nurse practitioner. So that is my, my, my income producing job right now. So I work part-time as a nurse practitioner. And then the other part-time I stay home as a stay-at-home mom with my kids. Um, and so uh, NP school is really expensive and I am hustling to try to pay that off. Um, anyways, that would be really nice if that worked out, but if not, uh, being in the garden and flowers, I am super passionate about, and, um, I'm hoping my kids can learn from this and grow to fall in love. So I'm sure you'll see them in some of these videos. Um, my oldest loves to help with weeds. She loves to help seed. Anyways, we can go more into that. So let me just tell you where I'm at. I just started planning my first cut flower garden. Um, so far I have planted about 500 seeds in soil blocks. I did three quarter inch soil blocks because that is what I used for my vegetable garden and it was successful. Um, I've already learned some things, what I did not know. There are certain seeds that don't like light to Germany. So I had, I always used to grow light with all of my vegetables and they all germinated right away. And I never had any issues with that. Um, I have learned that zinnias, for example, do not like light to germinate. I have learned that sunflowers, um, 
don't they like the dark as well um and and um what's the other one? Oh, centoria i have as well so i'll run through what i've planted so far and so it's been about a week since i planted all those flower seeds and i was like why aren't they germinating have i already messed up <laughs> this is not not gonna work for me and uh anyways i covered them last night uh, the three that I mentioned and I woke up this morning and some of them had sprouted already. So uh, we'll see what it looks like moving forward. Um, so let's see, I'm growing sunflowers so that I've planted, I should say. I don't know that they're growing yet, but I have planted sunflowers, snapdragon, centauria, lavender, um, echinacea and chamomile, um, and then zinnias. And then I planted some dahlias from seed, which is gonna be a whole other conversation and topic because there's all these tubers that we can talk about and why did I choose seeds? I don't really know. Just wanted to try them from seeds. Will I regret it? It's possible. Um, and then I have, let's see. Oh, I have cosmos that I have not planted yet and poppy seeds that I haven't planted yet. And then I have some ranunculus uh, bulbs um coming soon so that's where we're at um i'm trying to decide if i should do the poppies and the cosmos as starting in soil blocks or if i should just direct sow them everything i read it's kind of like a 50 50 on that so if any of you have any thoughts on what you do and have had success um, please let me know in the comments and um, I think what I'll do is also some succession planting so um, you know in a few weeks I'll plant some more and then in a few weeks I'll plant some more um, I would love to, I think my goal is to not I think my goal is to try to sell 200 bouquets this first year um, kind of a random number but I think with the square footage that I have it, it will be doable if my flowers are successful um, and I will go more into that strategy with you as we move forward um, so I'm going to take you along with me on this journey I'm going to take videos of the seeds that I have the soil blocking that I have I think next week I'll take you around um, the garden if you will uh the area that i have to grow in this in the small yard that i have um, and i'll show you what it looks like now and we'll just kind of see where everything goes um i'll talk about the fertilizer that i use the watering tex techniques that i'm using um weeding and you know we'll go through everything as far as plant support in the first harvest and pinching and cutting. I'm learning all of this. So if you are new to this, you are going to learn it with me and we're going to learn together. Um, and then hopefully in a few weeks, we'll have, we'll be able to look back and say hindsight's 2020. This is what I would or wouldn't do again. Um, and so hopefully this just can be a resource for you as well as me. Um, is, and what I mean is by me, I want to be able to look back and say, okay, this is where I was at. This is where I'm at now. And this is where we're going. So yeah, I'd love to sell 200 bouquets sometime this year. And um, I will talk to you a little bit more about who my target audience is um, in the weeks moving forward. And we will just talk about... Uh, what I've learned and what I haven't learned. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about what resources I've used. I have used uh, podcasts. I have used YouTube. I've used Instagram. All of the social media type of things, just kind of reading forums, things like that, gathering from other people's experiences, um, and then kind of putting them into what works for me. And what works for me may not work for you. Totally, totally understand that. Um, we're all in different growing zones. We're all in different phases of life. We all have different goals and we all have different target audiences with who um, we'd like our flowers to get to. So um, I bought about half of my seeds from Johnny Seeds 
and um, I bought a few from Florette Flower Farm and then a few from Eden Brothers and then I actually did get a few from Amazon. I just got my chamomile um, my and then the Cosmos and the Poppies because I could order huge quantities of those um, and I really want to use those a lot as filler. So um, I'll show you the space next week where I think I'm going to place those in my yard um, because I, I hear that they tend to be easier to grow and the space I think I'm gonna put them is less optimal for growth than the raised garden beds and the other location that I have that I'll show you. Um, so that's kind of my thought up front. Um, I'm so excited. I, I am now like eat, sleep, breathing flowers and just dreaming of beautiful bouquets and um, Oh, the book that I purchased is um, The Flower Cut Garden. Is that what it's called? It's, uh, now let me tell you. I don't want to, I don't want to tell you long. It's Lisa Mason Ziegler's book called The Cut Flower. It's just called The Cut Flower. Excellent book. Highly recommend. Great for beginners like me. It tells you what you need to know, like basics, what you need to know basics. Um, and then it goes into warmer flowers and cooler flowers and then how to figure out when to plant what. Um, so we are, where I am at in 7B growing zone, we are at, let's see, about five weeks out now from the last projected frost date. So um, about a week ago, I said I, I, I started some of my seeds and then I will probably start a few more in another week or so. That way I can have some succession planting going. Um, so let's see, so that's one book that I recommend. And then the other one is, let's see, I've ordered it, but I haven't gotten it yet. So I'm excited to review it for you. It is, um, let me tell you. Hmm. It's not coming to me. It's, it's Liz Fiedler's book. You can tell I'm on the computer. I'm sorry. But basically it's a complete planning book. So everything you need to do it's planning and then it's planning for next year and it's note taking and um, she has a podcast on Sunny Mary Meadows so I want to give her a shout out because she has been inspiring to me and if you haven't listened to her I highly recommend you listen to her. Um, she has a couple different books. The planner is the Cut Flower Crop. planner and journal. So I know you can get that on Amazon and you can get it um, at Four Pillars Printing um, and her webpage um, can take you to that. Again, her, she's Sunny Mary Meadows. So anyways, that's a little bit about me. That's my goals. I'm really excited to show you where everything goes. If I can figure out how to put two videos together, I will also take some snapshots of my soil blocks that I have going so you can see where I'm starting and then we can kind of see where it goes week to week and um, if you have any questions for me about my life or flower cutting or again comments please send them along I am learning alongside everyone else who is beginning in this and uh, I'm just hoping that my journey will help others whether it's through my failures, mistakes, we'll call them mistakes because um, failures, I think, means you didn't really learn anything. And I think you can learn something every time you have uh, something that's not a success, we'll say. Anyways, so that's enough for today. Uh, I hope to see you guys here next week and we'll go from there. Thanks.